Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life, and in this video I'm going to show you some ideas on how note containers in OneNote can be responsive to the size of the screen on which you're viewing that note container. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks different than mine, it might be because you're using a different device or a different version of OneNote. I'm calling the two concepts I'll be presenting here ideas rather than rules or tips because I had a hard time coming up with consistent rules for when note containers will or won't resize based on the screen that you're viewing at the moment. So these are things that you can try if your note container isn't resizing itself for your screen. So let's start out with what is a note container. So this page has a note container on it. Uh, there's some text type here, and when I hover over it, you can see that this box appears around it. That's the note container. Um, it's sometimes also called a con te text container. And Microsoft describes note containers as this. Note containers are flexible bounding boxes that contain notes that you type or paste on a page. I have a whole video on note containers linked in the description if you want more information. And then just one more thing to add, which is that note containers can have text or other things like a uh, sticker, an image, a table, and other things like that. So what do we mean by responsive? Um, so in this context, we're talking about it being responsive to the screen on which you're viewing it. So on, on screen right now, we're looking at a note container hover over it so you can see. And this has not been resized. Uh, this is just the size it shows up on on my monitor. I'm going to show you what that same note container looks like on my phone. So let me scroll up here. And these are just a succession of screenshots showing that. And you can see like the title is now um, on two lines so that it can fit the width of the screen and the text is kind of broken up. So this is one screenshot. This is a second screenshot and a third. So you can see that the text um, is kind of broken up so that it fits the width of the phone. So that's what we mean by responsive in this setting. So here are my two ideas on what may impact the size responsiveness of a note container. Um, so what I think is true on this subject is that there are two things that may determine whether a note container will auto size or not. The first is that manually resizing a note container container may cause it to be not responsive anymore. The second thing is that if you only have uh, one note container on your page and you add a second one that the note containers may become unresponsive to the screen size. So uh, I think the you know, not, I'm hesitant to call it a rule, but the idea there is that if you keep only one note container on your page, um, it should stay responsive to the screen size. And remember, you can have more than one thing in your note container. Well, and I will show you that more later. So for idea one, it appears that once you resize a note container, it may no longer auto resize. Um, when I first started talking to other OneNote users about this, someone suggested this, and it seemed to be true for myself and for the few other people who tested it. That is, when we manually resized a note container, it no longer responded to the screen size on which I was viewing the note container. But when I started making slides for this video, that loss of the automatic resizing didn't happen anymore. Now, I'm not sure if this changed because of some update in OneNote that happened since the beginning of that conversation, which was a few months ago, or if it's just something that isn't a hard and fast rule. So just to be clear, um, I'm going to show you how to resize a container just so you know what I'm talking about. So on this page, um, this is a note container. Again, this is just the default size that shows up on my monitor. You can resize it. Um, you can either hover over the border over here, and you can see that my mouse turns into the left right arrow and drag it out or drag it back. You can also do the same thing up here in the top. You have um, this gray bar with a left right arrow at the right hand side of it, and you can also drag that in and out. It does the same thing. And I do want to give you a workaround. If you find that your note container is no longer responsive to your screen size because you've resized it manually, you can just take the contents of that note container and then do a cut, copy, and then paste 
into a new note container that has not been resized. So the second thing I want to show you is um, the idea that having two note containers on a page may impact whether or not it will auto resize for you on a different screen. So on this page we have two note containers. I'm going to scroll down so you can see both of them. This top one here has one line of text and then a big image. Um, and I have the source for that image in the description below. Um, and then down below we have the second note container, which is much smaller. It's smaller in both height and width. So when I looked at this same page on my phone, you can see that it did not respond to the phone size. You can only see it the small portion of the um, top text container. However, on this page, I have that same text container, the one that uh, is on top on the page with two containers. And when I have just one text container and I go over to my phone, you can see that it resized it so that you can see the text and the image resized to fit on the phone. So um, that's it. Two ideas on how you can have your note containers respond to the screen size you're using. It's not super complicated, but I do think it's useful. And this video came about based on comments on my videos and in my Facebook groups. And I had to do some additional experimenting to find out exactly how this works. So if you have any additional information on this or ideas, tips, things to try, uh, please do leave that in the comments so that we can share the knowledge with everyone. I have tested everything I'm sharing here, and I think it's true, but if you do find an exception, also let me know that as well. And just one final note, which is if you want to use this concept of having your note containers auto resize for screen size in a more complex manner, um, you might need to do some experimenting. I found some more co complex cases, like when I had a container that had multiple elements of different sizes, like say more than one image of all different sizes. I could not find a hard and fast rule about whether or not that would auto resize. But I think the two ideas I gave you should work in a lot of cases. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. It, so if you want to see more OneNote videos like this, as well as content on personal organization, goal setting, and planning, please hit the subscribe button and let me know you like this video by hitting the like button. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.